Hello my friends, thank you so so much for tuning in and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jen and I love all things color. We talk about makeup, sunscreen, skincare, everything. Uh, I meant to just say skincare, but we're going to be talking about sunscreens today. Not just one sunscreen, three kinds of sunscreens. I know it's hard to put on sunscreen. Some people just, it's hard to work it into our routine especially when we wear makeup it's just hard because you put the sunscreen on and then you may put the makeup on it like kind of moves around it rubs it just it's hard to get that 100 percent protection but i've been uh i've come up with a solution i do not do just one layer i i use three layers of sunscreen not just the same product but different product at different stages of my makeup routine so for Make a, uh, I use it at the beginning, in the middle, and at the end. You can um, curate this routine as per your requirement, as per based on how many hours you kind of stay outdoors, or how much coverage you want, how much like, or how skin like you want your skin to appear. Everything is you can just change based on your um, likeness and requirement. But I like the coverage. I like the done look on my face but not overly done but i really i mean you can tell i'm wearing makeup obviously but uh yeah so we're going to be doing three steps one is primer and then one is where i get my coverage and sun protection and then the last is um setting my face with a powder sunscreen so the very first step also has sunscreen and the very last step also has sunscreen so three products i'm going to be showing to you guys are uh, the iris uh, a primer sunscreen this is a primer sunscreen almost done and then color science and then the seals um, powder sunscreen so I'm gonna be putting all three and be showing you how I achieve this entire look so you're gonna be seeing what I how I got this you will not be missing a step maybe 20 minutes here and there is off camera I'm putting my mascara on I'm putting lipstick on uh, things like that but you would definitely see how I actually achieve this look and this is basically the look I do every single day the colors might change the intensity intensity of the eye look might change but my skin routine is exactly ditto just this no change whatsoever so you can get like a uh, an idea of how I achieve sun protection and fun makeup look as well so I nobody requested for this video i just think my passion of sunscreen uh and my passion of makeup all combined together i kind of like just came up with this routine so i just wanted to share it with you guys really in the hope that it might be helpful if you like these kinds of skincare related and makeup related or both together combine what well, that's which, which is what we're doing today if you like these videos definitely consider giving this video a thumbs up and thumb uh subscribe if you haven't already it really helps my channel out giving this video a thumbs up especially it sends my videos to makeup enthusiasts skincare enthusiasts sunscreen enthusiasts people who are in the looking for videos like this to be honest so definitely do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already let's move into the demo part of the video and i really hope you enjoy all right let's get started uh the first sunscreen i would be using is a primer like sunscreen it is a must because we are at least for me i'm going towards putting from skincare i'm transitioning to makeup and the sunscreen is an in-between step so um something that would combine both sunscreen and makeup would be like a primer textured sunscreen and my absolute favorite is iris romeo look at this look at how much i've uh used up I just bought it like maybe a month ago and used it constantly every single day. I have a review on it if you want to like take a look at all the ingredients and everything. But this is an all mineral sunscreen, no fragrance and it doesn't leave it. Uh, I believe there are two colors. This is not the perfect color for me, but still I use this as a base for my um makeup and sunscreen all to put together so the first sunscreen the first step of sunscreen is a primer that's what i would always go for so 
the best texture for a sunscreen is also a primer just because um, if you are a person who wears makeup it is so easy to transition oh god it's getting in my hair it's so easy to transition from skincare to makeup in one step you see how seamless it went on it is such a good product so good I've been loving this and I think it's time Sephora spring sale is approaching soon very fast um, this is definitely on my list absolutely beautiful silicone texture like not the dry slip at all it's not the dry slip don't even think think it's dry slip it's uh it's just a silicone rig makes it so seamless and so elegant to put on it spreads easily um i love this product or if you have any other uh, um, uh, product that you think would be a good fit that is, has a primer texture definitely put it on as like the first step of your sunscreen so this is my first of the three layer sunscreen i'm talking about so usually i put this on and definitely wait oh that's another thing uh important thing that i would do in real time that i will not be doing here for the video is wait at least a minimum of 20 minutes uh to move on to the second step uh because um it needs that 20 minutes to form that layer, that protective film that really protects your skin from the sun's rays. So it takes that, that 20 minutes. So this is a long process. You cannot go right away one step after the other immediately. This is a longer process sunscreen. It You need to give it some time, my friends, for it to really start working its magic on your skin. But for the purpose of this video, we are not going to be doing anything like really real time <laughs> we're just gonna keep going so at this at this point is when I would put my uh, concealer if I want to I have darker um, hyperpigmentation here and then inner corner and also you can see hyperpigmentation on my lids also right here you see just like a little bit so just there so I would do this after the 20 minute wait just FYI not right now because this might interfere with the performance of the sunscreen so we do not do it right now right away as you're seeing me do now that's that's not where how we will do i would do i would definitely wait 20 minutes and then just dab 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 my uh the one i'm using is maybelline's instant age rewind i'm so late to this party but what a great product and the shade match is impeccable mine is 147.5 i also have some hyperpigmentation right there this is line that just goes around my nose it just makes me mad but it is what it is but it's it's okay so just you don't need to i do not dab it actually i don't know why i'm doing it right now but maybe j because i'm in a video i'm kind of like making it uh making things seamless but i wouldn't do it sorry you know what i'm just gonna stick to what i do so as not to confuse you the reason i don't go in and dab too much because i do not want to disturb that film that sunscreen uh, film and the thin uh like protective layer that it forms as it's setting I want to touch disturb it as less as possible so even when I'm using my makeup brush I just like gently like above I don't buff it no rubbing nothing you will you, you no rubbing uh, and no touching your face too much so just FYI so that's the first layer of sunscreen the second layer is the actual liquid sunscreen so the first is like a primer second is a liquid uh, my favorite you could use whatever you want uh, my favorite absolute ultimate favorite is color sciences flex in the shade uh, deep so this has pa4 plus science i think that's like the most uh, that means it like protects your skin uh, in an excellent manner from uva rays specifically so again here we do not want to put way too much 
because you already have a layer of sunscreen you just need that this is more so for a base and like a coverage for me to be honest now you can cut this short and just set your face with a sunscreen powder and call it a day you can do that absolutely but i like to get that extra coverage and that extra sunscreen protection so i add this second layer of sunscreen so i just rub it again please wait 20 minutes for this thing to set uh, sunscreen mm. this is not how i would usually go if i'm just putting liquid sunscreen on this is not how i would put it on my skin i would work it into my skin i would rub it into my skin i would get it like really really in there but i already put the sunscreen on and i do not want to disrupt that layer but i still want to get more sunscreen more coverage too for my skin so it's like two in one coverage and sunscreen so right now i just dab 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 and again you wait for 20 minutes guys <laughs> it's you gotta be patient with sunscreen it's not gonna like it's not like instant uh oh we gotta put it also in the inner corner and also a little bit on the eyelids so here's where we wait oh, i need to get some wipes to wipe this off i'll be right back all right i am back i look like some kind of a roman's culture but we're gonna for the sake of skin we're gonna work through it so what i did was i also put sun this is a step where i would do my eye makeup on usually but if you're not just into it you can just skip it just sit the 20 minutes do something else and then like go forward from there but i'm going to i'm heading out so i'm gonna do my eye makeup i put some primer and i'll just set my eyes with it and i'm just gonna put on some matte these are sugar pill shadows some matte eyeshadows oh they are pigmented i have not touched these in so long i'm gonna put that brown caramel shade all over my lid and then i love to put uh blushes on the eyelids because they just bring my eyes make my eyes come alive i don't know it's just like those blush tones are really just just brings your makes it so youthful and like i don't know just just bright and fresh i love i've just discovered them recently just the magic of putting these blushes on the eyelids just absolutely love it so i'm honestly i'm not even being so that precise because i just that's how i like to put these blushes on the eyes just like put it all over there's no um and that way it makes it look more natural and kind of like flushed and I'm putting some bronzer and I'm mixing the uh, bronzer and the highlighter together to as a brow bone highlighter because I don't want it like a star contrast. I want that bronzer also to be mixed in to kind of create like a flesh toned look. So yeah. Uh, next step is mascara and i will right, be right back all right i am back i put mascara on and I also i actually took like a good 20 minute break <laughs> this time for real because i had some stuff to do so i just paused and i went and took a 20 minute break so it's time to put on um just makeup basically i you guys saw me put on my eyes now i'm gonna just set my face with a regular makeup powder this is not a sunscreen powder so we've done two layers of sunscreens and uh this is laura geller's baked balance and brighten in the shade tan um so i'm just gonna gently dab it just to kind of create this easy like a canvas on the skin i'm not looking for coverage i'm not even going back a lot 
I'm just dabbing it all over. As you can see, I'm just like stamping the product, no rubbing, no buffing. We do not need any, any of that. That is it. And now I'm gonna go and put on some blush and highlighter. And then we will, we're almost there my friends, we're almost there. I'm gonna go in with the same hourglass palette and I'm just gonna put my brush all over because um, they're all very similar, my friends, they're all so similar. Once you blend it into your skin, you don't really need, you won't even see the difference. You shouldn't because these tones are like, are these tones that gives um, that beautiful, natural, flushed glow. You see how it matches my, oh no, that is a lot of blush on my forehead. Don't worry, we will fix it. For the eyes, I only use this color, but for the face, I used all three, but they all kind of look the same. Like I said, I mean, that's kind of like the proof of what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, whenever Hourglass comes out with a new palette, everybody's like, oh, I need to get all of them. So they're so pretty, they're so pretty. Actually, you don't need to get all of them at all. I'm just getting some highlighter and dab, dab, dab. You just need to get the one that has your face powder on it because that's what Hourglass is amazing for. Sure, there everything else is great as well, but their blushes, their highlighters, they're all great. But you can find dupes for that outside, but their ambient lighting powder, no. No, there's nothing like that, my friends. There is really nothing like that. I think that's good. It kind of like blended out really well. So this is the end of my makeup. Basically, that is it. I do my eyes and do blush and highlighter and I use a finishing powder, the Hourglass finishing powder. Oh, that's what I was doing. So I was using the Hourglass Radiant um, Ambient Lighting Powder that comes with it. it. This is in the shade Radiant Light. That is the last of my uh, last step of my makeup routine. Always, I never ever go without it. Finishing powder is a must in my makeup routine. It sounds excessive, but it's not. I promise you. Once you start using the hourglass powders, you will not go back. It will be like an essential. It's a must-have. All right, let's go to the to the to the third and last uh, layer of sunscreen, which is this guy seals so you can use any powder sunscreen you want but I've used a lot of them and nothing comes close to how beautifully easily it applies and easily it kind of spreads over your face on the skin and easily it sets it's a beautiful beautiful powder I do my eyebrows at the very very end because there's a lot of powders going on it's gonna like set on the eyebrows I have to do it again so I don't touch it eyebrows is for last so last one is a powder oh it just this guy actually fell down today and kind of like chipped I gotta go and check my bathroom floor because if something there I, I gotta sweep it up I'm, I'm just noticing okay it's also very easy to get the powder out using a big fluffy brush and you can tell where it sets see that it's such a great powder this is in the this comes in three shades look at that it's beautifully sets um one two and three i think that's that's what the shades are called i get it in the shade three and it's a beautiful bright color i don't know it's kind of like brightens the skin as well this is my second container i already have my third waiting for me and again my sephora spring uh sale coming up this is absolutely most definitely on the list i don't even know what i would do if cl discontinued this product not that they would because it's like a new brand new product but it is a phenomenal product my friends i've been using this like i said i think i reviewed cl's product maybe three months ago maybe three or four months ago and i've 
like I said, this is my second and my third is already in my, um, you know, wherever I keep my backup stuff. So that is it. That is pretty much it. We are done, my friends. We have come to the end of this video. We just need to put on lipstick and we got to do brows for sure. So this is L'Oreal's Infallible Brows. Uh, what is this called? Volumizing Mascara. Like, I think it's a brow mascara because the wand is like that. So I do the brows and I do lipstick and that is it. The second step of the sunscreen that I did the, where I do the liquid, that is a time consuming process because you're going to have to wait for another 20 minutes. I do that because I want that extra coverage and I like that makeup uh, look, like that made up look. But if you're not in that interested in it, you can just do that two layer sunscreen where you can do the primer and then you can do it. just set the face with powder and that would be a good deal. <laughs> that would be a great, great coverage for your skin and it would look much lighter than what you have right now, like what I have right. Mine itself kind of looks like skin if you ask me. It's not that uh like cakey or anything or at least in my opinion it's not but i really do not ask for other people's opinion on how my skin looks so i couldn't be so sure but uh in person it doesn't really look cakey you can tell there's some kind of like coverage on my skin which that's fine uh but yeah i think i want to go with red because I don't know what happened to the light back there because my makeup is pretty neutral. So I'm going to put this on and we'll talk final thoughts and then we'll be out of here. All right, I'm back. Uh, the red lip I did was um, Lisa Elridge's Velveteen Liquid Lip in the shade Ribbon, the Velvet Ribbon. That's just like a true red that she's got. And I did actually a very, very thin layer because normally I wouldn't, if it's a red, it's like a bright red. I would do at least another layer, but I just wanted to go like softer today. So yeah. So three layers consist of, let's go through them again, a primer consistency sunscreen, and then a liquid. This is definitely debatable if you need this or not. I like that coverage and extra layers of sun protection. So that's why I go with a liquid sunscreen but if you're kind of indoors if you're staying indoors if you're just not looking for coverage at all your skin is flawless nothing of that sort i just say go with the primer and set your face with the seal or or any other like um powder sunscreen product and you're good to go to be honest and but do the powder sunscreen at the very 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 last step like we after i showed you uh, putting this on I there's nothing else on my face literally nothing else on my face so and uh, this should be like literally the last step on for your face do not do anything else after that so I just use this because it gives me extra coverage or if you're just looking for that extra layer sun protection or you're gonna be staying the Sun all day you want that lots and lots of sun protection literally uh, then I would say go for this but if you use the only downside I would say for putting three layers of sunscreen is uh, time. You need to give that 20 minutes for each step. Make sure it sets and be careful when you're layering other products, especially when you, you saw me putting makeup on. I was careful. I just I wasn't rubbing. I wasn't buffing things into my skin. Just even this when I was putting the liquid, I was very careful to just like just basically just applied it on my skin i didn't even like rub it i didn't use any circular motions so that's kind of important so the downside is just the time it is going to take some time so if you want to avoid time or you don't need that much i would say still go for these two with sun protection it's gonna really really enhance and really save and help your skin a lot so that is it my friends i just wanted to come here and show you guys because it is layering sunscreen Okay, putting one layer of sunscreen is hard, but doing three is can be tricky and complicated, but I've been doing it very, very easily and very um, seamlessly. 
and get a very really good final result so i just wanted to come here and showcase and show how i do it so i really hope this video was helpful for you guys so let me know down below in the comment section and i will see you guys very soon bye